All right, guys, it's time to get medieval. By the way, I've not played this game whatsoever, so all this is going to be brand new to me. But yeah, with Halloween around the corner, this just kind of puts me in the mood. Um, so I'm excited to play this game. Like I said, never played it, but it was a old game that just got, you know, remastered, essentially. Trying to find when it came out. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Crazy story. I knew I liked this game. It actually came out the same year that I was born in 1998 in October. So technically I'm a little bit older. Definitely need to work on the looks. Am I right? I think that's why she's single. Wait, is it he or she? that person is just causing mayhem looks like he's taking the souls out of all the villagers making him succumb to his evil
Well, I really love the intro. Do one of these peaky emperors steal your stuff? Check in with the local merchant. They always seem to have this good. I love the intro. It really does speak. Oh, I'll ignore that. Yeah, I really do love the intro, though. It's very Halloween themed. It actually came out in the month of October, which is so fitting. The original release date. I'm not sure what the remake when that came out. I would definitely have released it in October. Maybe like right before then, September. And of course we are going to start a new game. I don't know what was so funny about that, but we're going to start a new game. Oh, he's so happy to be alive. Sanskrit. Present shine down. Looks like you've got a second chance at this whole hero thing. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. What the hell? Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serac and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Zorak is his name, okay. Uh, I guess. Let's read this book. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Okay. Is there anything else? You must be up. Okay. No. Oops. Okay. I want to go over here. Let it alone. Okay. Shot. We are not falling for that. Okay. Let's get this treasure. Kind of worthless to leave money around, right? This was our casket. Pretty basic. At least we got a new. Oh man, I love the, those arts. Like glass art. Oh, I'm a sucker for it. Not too shabby. Oh, what's up there? Yeah, we're not going to find out. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's get this loot first. Man, it's so easy to grab loot. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. You don't say. Ooh, which one? Left or right? Left or right? It's too left. You will find life bottles throughout Galamere. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Oh. 
what found a life bottle. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Okay, we got our means of escape. Um, it's a weird dragon. Okay, let's go down this hallway. Oh, nice. I'm throwing daggers. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Press and hold circle to charge to release. Oh, okay. So we can either hold hold it for three, or you, we can do quick and just tap it. So just do one. Nope. Oh, that reminds me of like the the water from Hades. This. Oh, nice. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Ooh, we have to equip that. That's so cool. Nice. All right. Let's try and go to. Nice. All right. We're all geared up. So, oh, can't keep our head straight. Okay, I'm pretty sure you get the point. But we got our gear. Like Michael Jordan and Space Jams are ready to ball. I guess this is our like angel or something. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Ugh, does, I wonder if it really stinks. I was just thinking we probably stink. We we've been like decayed and you know all that's left is our bones. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna leave it there. So we just left our crypt, I guess. And yeah. I'll go ahead and leave it there for now. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. So if you could hit that like button, lets me know that you made it all the way to the end. Also consider subscribing if you want to support the channel. But yes, thank you and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Ooh.